Hey guys, what's up? It's Iridian Fierro here with another WWE interview. My next guest is personally one of my favorite performers in the WWE roster. He is here to let us know what WWE actually stands for, Walk with Elias. So if you would be so kind as to... Silence your cell phones. Hold your applause until after I am finished. Or most importantly, shut your mouth. Please help me welcome my guest at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. And you're going to remember this forever. All right, so me being in radio, I was intrigued. When you released music, can you tell us about your EP, Walk with Elias, and how that came about? Uh, yeah, it was an extremely natural fit, I believe. You know, I go out there every single week on Monday Night Raw. I perform songs in front of millions. Uh, but a lot of these times I get interrupted. I don't get to do my full songs, things like that. So there was a demand for original Elias music that people could listen to at their own leisure. So I said, all right, let's do it. Let's make an album or make an EP, if you will. And uh, I recorded plenty of songs. We decided just to put out four. Uh, there's plenty more to come at some point. And you had a surprise concert at Bourbon Street, too, right? What was that like? Yes, I did. Surprised a lot of people there on Bourbon Street uh, right before WrestleMania of last year. It was amazing the way the people responded to the music. Uh, by the time you know I'm on the second chorus, people are singing along to the lyrics. Uh, real good time. People there will definitely remember the rest of their lives. Elias, now let's talk about your wrestling. Do you remember the moment that you realized that wrestling was what you wanted to do? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't like a specific moment, but, uh, you know, I was totally enamored with wrestling as a child. I was really into Macho Man and Shawn Michaels and Jake the Snake and uh, guys like that, you know, and I just, I made up my mind. I wanted to be a wrestler. I didn't quite know how to go about it, uh, but it was it. I made up my mind, so I had to make it happen. You participated in the Mixed Match Challenge with Bailey last year, who was your partner. Um, if you had a chance to participate again this year and you could pick your partner, who would you pick? You know, I actually think me and Bailey kind of got robbed of some opportunity there. We were building a real nice chemistry. Uh, we we even we didn't even really get to perform in the ring like we both wanted to. Uh, it was kind of one and done. So if I got the chance again, I got to say Bailey would be a great partner. Wow, and now that she's, you know, at half of the women's tag team champion, you guys would really have a one-up on everyone else. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I stalked through your Twitter, um, not weird at all, of course, um, but uh, you've talked about John Cena before. Now, is he someone that you want to have more matches against in the future? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I here's the thing. I mean, the guy has interrupted more performances from Elias than almost anybody on the roster. I mean, and it, you, you take it all the way back to like Raw 25 and then the Christmas episode and Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. He ruined my big moment at WrestleMania last year. So, of course, I hold on to that because performing in front of huge crowds is, is what I live for. Uh, and for John to ruin that, yeah, I absolutely have a grudge with him that, that needs to be settled. Now, I know you get big reactions from crowds at events, but do you have a most memorable interaction with a fan? I'm always impressed with people that truly understand Elias on, on like, a deeper level. You know, a lot of people know me um, in a way where, like, you know, he makes fun of the sports teams and things like that, but there's just so much more to Elias. Uh, and when you tap into that, I'm, I'm always very uh, grateful for that understanding. And of course, you know, you are a man of many talents. You don't only just play the guitar, right? No, I play multiple instruments. I play the piano, the drums, the harmonica, uh, and of course the guitar. And what made you decide that your, your gimmick was going to be to come out and with the guitar? Why not a harmonica? Um, you know what? It's just because I probably enjoy guitar the most out of all those instruments. Um, I thought, you know what, writing a song on guitar is a lot better than writing a song on harmonica. It's just more pleasing to the ear, if you ask me. So that was kind of the deciding factor there. And of course, you wanted the, the chance to sing, right? Of course, yeah. And, it's it's kind of hard to sing with a harmonica in your mouth. Exactly, exactly. Now, Elias, you coming from NXT, how do you feel about some of the NXT talent that's you being used on the main roster right now while still performing on the other brand? 
Um, so are we referring to like the, the guys like uh, Alistair yeah, Black, like like Ricochet. Alistair Black, like Ricochet, Gargano. Of course, uh, you know what? Those guys they're they're very talented. They're coming in from NXT to WWE, and it's a, a totally different world once you get here. Uh, you're gonna have opportunities to succeed, and it's gonna be on you. Uh, whether you you sink or swim, whereas in NXT, uh, you're gonna have those opportunities, but you're you're a little more protected in that sense. Where here, it's kind of sink or swim. Now, if you weren't a wrestler, what would Elias be doing right now? I believe I would be painting. Um, <laughs> I love to paint, and my if I get any downtime, that's kind of the thing I really like to do. Uh, express you know landscapes or just whatever's going on in my my brain at the time. And you know what? I can believe that. I was on your Instagram, and you, you're you not that bad. You could be like Bob Ross, maybe the next the next great Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah, Bob Ross is fantastic. That wouldn't be bad. <laughs> you are a great uh, singles competitor. Do you have a favorite opponent or someone that you love getting in the ring with? Um, I got to say Seth Rollins was, was probably, you know, he's just a great competitor. He's great in the ring. We had a great match at Money in the Bank, actually, last year uh, in Chicago. And I really feel there's a lot of unresolved issues there. So if we ever cross paths again, that's, that's what I'd be looking forward to. And of course, I know Chicago is ready to walk with Elias when you guys are here at the Allstate Arena. What can we expect from you that night? Uh, I, of course, we're heading into WrestleMania. It's the biggest show of the year. you got to have your biggest star, Elias, doing something real prominent. So I tell you, I can't give anything away, but I'm certain that I will have a lot to say uh, and something to sing. I am super ready. Even if we get roasted, I, I'm ready for it, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for being with us today. And I'm telling you, I'm ready to walk with Elias. If you're ready to take me somewhere, we can go. Okay, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for the interview today. All right, thank you. If you want to listen to more WWE interviews, make sure you guys head over to restfriends.com. You'll find my interview with Seth Rollins, with Cesaro, and with AJ Styles. I'm Meridian Fierro. Thank you.